And this afternoon, a manhunt is underway in Corbett. Deputies say a stranger assaulted a woman in her home, sending her to the hospital. They've set up a perimeter and are trying to chase the man down after he got out of his truck and ran away. Elise Haas has been tracking the search all morning. She's live on scene with the latest. And Elise, what's going on right now? Well, Ken and Jenny, this has been a very scary morning for the folks here in Corbett and because this is still a very active investigation. And the SWAT team is on scene right now, and they are very slowly and surely going through every building looking for the suspect. And the school has been shut down this today to keep kids safe. And they've also asked everyone to stay inside and lock their doors because they believe that the man that they're searching for is a threat to the public. At this time, we are considering this suspect armed and dangerous. A manhunt has shut down the small town of Corbett after a man assaulted someone around 6.30 this morning just west of town, sending the victim to the hospital. Minutes later, deputies spotted the pickup truck and boat. The suspect was driving down Columbia River Highway. Seeing the deputy after him, the man parked the pickup near the post office and ran. This morning, the superintendent closed schools down for the day while law enforcement set up a perimeter and search. Dozens of deputies are looking for a white man who's five foot ten with brown hair and possibly has a cut on his face. They believe he has a knife and a firearm. We ask for residents not to confront the person, but to call 911. Deputies say being in a rural area isn't the only thing that's making this search more challenging. We do have one of our K-9 units tracking, but with the high winds, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But deputies say they have a good perimeter set up at this time, and they're confident they're going to find him. And right now, deputies don't think that the suspect and the victim know each other, but detectives are at the hospital with her, and they're trying to find out as much as possible about this man. And, of course, if you know anything, you're asked to call police. Reporting live in Corbett, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.